been a while but I wanted to do a new video today about the lessons that I've learned in the last year so um, last year I was going through a very hard time and I was in a very bad situation and I I just wanted to find a way to get out of it so badly that I I read so many books, I watched a lot of YouTube videos about attracting the right things and I did all everything. I did the affirmations, I did uh, visualizing, um, <laughs> I did everything because I was desperate. I really, really needed to get out of that bad situation. and. Uh, there was so much self-hate for putting myself in that situation um, that I I started thinking that the world is against me, everyone's against me, that that I just have bad luck, that um, how do I say it? I just want to be authentic with you. I want to be honest. I want to be transparent. I want to be who I am with you without pretending, without lying because I had enough of that it's not just how much it hurts that people do that to me but me allowing myself to be around these kind of people so um, I tried everything and I read so many books and like I said there are some things that worked some things that did not work so I want to tell you what I've learned from all of that so I'm just gonna start <laughs> so the biggest thing that I saw in in so many videos and books affirmations that you should always say I am I am great I am smart I am good I am amazing I am blah 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 <laughs> and I think it's good but it's I don't think it's the actual solution I don't think repetition is the answer it's like it seemed to me like I was trying to force myself to see myself in another image I think the real solution is to actually find that belief that false belief that you have in your mind and try to find the root of it what caused you to believe this negative thought about yourself for example you don't think that you're good enough then what made you believe in that thought you find the root and then you solve it you solve this problem and then you can move on I just let everything out I wrote everything down I talked to the people that hurt me I talked to them and I told them how they made me feel I let it all out it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of effort and a lot of tears I learned to allow my emotions that's another thing that I learned yay it is important because we are human beings we have emotions we're not robots we're not zombies we have emotions except that that's how you're feeling at this moment right now if you feel happy let yourself feel happy if you feel upset then be upset <laughs> other people around us when we were younger when you cry they say don't cry when you're angry like don't you dare raise your voice and when you're happy it's like stop what you're doing come do something useful it's like it's like you're not allowed to be happy you're not allowed to be sad you're not allowed to be anything you're not allowed to have any emotions but now you're an adult <laughs> now you get to live your life the way you want to live it okay you have to let yourself feel these emotions that's that's the only way you set yourself free is you allowing yourself to feel the emotions accept that's that that's how you feel So I struggled with this so much, oh my god, with making things happen or letting go. 
Oh my god, I was so confused. When I try to make things happen, things get worse. And sometimes when I just let it wait for it to happen, it doesn't happen. And I'm like so torn, I was so torn. And I didn't know what was I supposed to do. But then I realized. <sighs> In this life, it's not just you. There is you and there is the universe. <laughs> to believe that it's that me and the universe have to work together you don't want to force things to happen you want to make them happen but not force them when you're trying to force thing, things to happen you you're taking an action out of desperation are you taking it out of desperation or out of love so you need to have trust in yourself and in the universe a balance of both that means that you have to start thinking believing that the universe is on your side it's not against you you see it's sunny now <laughs> thank you universe <laughs> so it's having faith that the universe is with you it's on your side even when bad things happen, it is still on your side. These bad things happen for you to grow, to learn. It makes you who you are today. All those things that happened, all these bad things that happened, they make you who you are today. It makes you a stronger person. And that's why I feel grateful for everything that happened. You are valuable because you are here in this earth. You are brought here for a reason, for a purpose. So whenever you feel like you have doubts about your life and what you're going through, you have to reassure yourself that it's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. If something bad happens, you can handle it. Whatever it is, you have to believe in yourself. Trust yourself. Trust that feeling in your heart. Trust it. And that's, that's all guys. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and like, comment. I would love to know your thoughts on this. What have you learned in the last year? Share with me all your wisdom. <laughs> Share it in the comments below so we can all learn from each other. My Instagram, my Snapchat, my Facebook, my YouNow. I do broadcast there sometimes. So if you'd like to join me there, um, all the links will be in below. I hope you have a good day or night wherever you are and I will see you later. Bye There's no one